I'm not gonna lie, I thought this would be more funny, but it's kind of stupid. This is a 13 haunting stories that are real. Let's go. I've never been so ready for a reaction in my life. It's the first Terror Tuesdays. Every Tuesday, there will be something scary re we react to. Let's go. <laughs> These are true stories based on submissions from the BuzzFeed Unsolved Network audience. Okay, wait. This keeps falling down, man. Encounters. Okay. Submission by Shane R. One night when I was in seventh grade, Sorry? I had two friends sleeping over, and we were in my basement. My mm -hmm. brother, who was around seven at the time, had bought himself a new Furby and got bored of it after a few weeks. Then it sat untouched in the basement closet. As you may know, Spooky. Furbies sometimes begin to talk when they are moved, yet they only speak gibberish. Not What's anything. a Furby? This night, it was around 4 a.m., and we had all the lights out, and it was silent. We were laying down to go to bed, and out of nowhere, we hear this Furby's voice say, Come play with me. And then it laughed. At the time... Yo! <laughs> No. Ah, oh, hell to the no. Oh. Hell no. To the no, no, no. You kill me out. I ain't coming. I ain't here. Come play with me. What is this, man? I ain't. I ain't. What the, what the fuck? I didn't know it didn't speak English. So we wrote it off and went to bed. Oh. <laughs> what do you mean you wrote it off and went to bed? Mother. I'm booking it. I'm gone. I'm on the next flight to China. My horror. In the morning when I checked on it, not only does it not speak English, it also had no batteries. Anyone? Up? Man? Oh, Next submission is by Kai B. Yeah, Cardi B. Cardi B. You have a suggestion. It was late at night, and my friends and I were on our way home after watching a play at one of the campus theaters. Seems like a good day. Nearing the College of Education building, mm. I looked up to the sky and saw a woman jump from the topmost floor. I told my friends, and we ran over to the front lawn of the building to help the woman. But when we got there, she was gone. Oh the no! Came rushing over to us because I was so loud about it. My friends didn't see her because I was the only one who felt the urge to look up. The guard helped calm me down from the nearest area, then told me that I must have seen the ghost of a woman who had jumped to her death from that building years ago. What? It was the anniversary of her death. What the f- <laughs> Madie. I went on a trip to DC for the 4th of July with my family. This was our second trip to DC, so we decided to take the last day of our trip. Okay. Of July. To go visit Mount Vernon, George Washington's estate in Virginia. As you do? It was the middle of the day, scorching hot, and there was absolutely no air conditioning in the house, aside from oh. the house placed sparingly. You should go some pants. I'm a history buff, so I was very excited about touring. I hate history. a lot about George Washington and his estate previously. Okay. So I knew that he passed away in his bedroom in 1799, but that's definitely okay. not what I was thinking about when our tour guide led our group upstairs to see that bedroom. His bedroom had a lot of room oh, hell in no. it. So we weren't allowed to go inside, and there were little plastic barriers preventing us from doing so. But you could stick your head into the room and look around. For some reason, I was the only one in the group who decided to take a look. When I stuck my head into the room, I was immediately struck by how absolutely freezing cold it was in there. And I don't mean that there was a light breeze. It was as if I had stuck the upper half of my body into a walk-in freezer. I was confused by this um, because there didn't seem to be any air conditioning in the room. So I looked around to try to see if there was any fan. Don't tell me see something. I just wasn't noticing, but I didn't see one. Okay. I decided to take my head out of the room and ask our tour guide why it was so cold in there. But then I realized that I couldn't move. I was paralyzed from the waist up. Every part of my body that was in the room was completely stuck in place. I struggled to pull myself out, but couldn't. I started to panic and tried to open my mouth to call for help. But when I opened my mouth, no sound came out. All of a sudden, from the other side of the room, where there was a little piece of furniture, a mirror, and a water basin, probably where Washington watched Don't tell me see, see water, him. I felt what I can describe as nothing other than a pair of eyes staring at me. Almost like the sensation of someone staring nah, at me. Nah, 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 was what naxley j what you got for us eight or nine years old my mom told me to go to bed early in the summer night so i threw a fit and began screaming at my mom i hate you my mom Man, go to your room told me never to go to bed <laughs> angry because the devil can possess you and steal you what the f after slamming my bedroom door shut i turned off the lights and laid down it was near midnight and i was still angry suddenly i heard tapping by my door i had chills run up my arms 
That's your mum playing tricks on you. You deserve it. Then I heard a voice call to me. It sounded like my brother's voice, but he was calling me a nickname my mom used for me. I figured it was my brother, so I started yelling at him to go away. The voice taunted me with the nickname until my mom ran to the room and turned on the lights. What are you yelling at? I sat up and noticed she was the only person in my room. I told her my brother came into my room and started calling my name. She looked what pale. The hell? Your brother is sound asleep in my room. It was exactly 12 a.m. on the clock when oh, I walked no. into my room, and it was freezing even though my window was closed and the AC was turned off. There was something in my room that night, and to this day, nobody nope. in my family understands what happened. Nope. All I know is that I'll never go to bed angry ever again. Good. Anyone here? I ain't so no ghost yet in here. I was deeply involved in amateur ghost hunting. A friend at the time told Why? me I was in fact haunted, and I jumped at the chance to tackle the challenge. We first Why? conducted an EVP session in the master bedroom where my friend's grandparents died. After asking questions like, do you want us to leave? And what are you going to do if we don't leave? Several people in the group immediately began complaining of headaches and stomach pain. I was met with responses like, yes, and harm. We began hearing noises from the kitchen where we moved to conduct another session, and the room became drastically hot, hot for a January in New York City. Man, these, these, why, why, why are you, I don't get people who do this, uh, leave them, leave them alone, they own the house now, you, you leave, you don't come back, you leave, they, they own the house, they don't have to pay you anything, they own it, it's theirs, move, move on. And I raised my hands in prayer and began to close my eyes. As I prayed, a member of the group told me my hands were being pulled apart by nothing. As I opened my eyes, I became disoriented and my- Wouldn't you feel that though? Like, your hands moving? No? Vision blurred, and I heard several people in the group saying something was coming up the stairs from the basement. I got up and noticed a horned shadow creeping up the steps. I yelled at it, Do your worst, I'm not afraid. You one crazy ass bitch! This fuck- Woo! We got Superman now, huh? I'm- What? I woke up on the floor a full five minutes later. I get managed to get out of the house, just to be told I smelled like ashes and fire. I got home to notice what appeared to be a handprint on my ankle, and it was- Meh. Ah, oh, screw this shit, man, I swear to god- It was hot to the touch, and extremely painful. I had gone to church and explained what happened, and the priest offered to anoint the mark with holy water, and when it came into contact with my skin, it felt like I was being set on fire. For several weeks after, myself and one member of the group began to have dreams of being threatened and taunted by a man in a black suit. Cousin so this happened to me more than once in the house where my family used to live. From what I was told, there was a ghost in the house that resembled me, so much to the point where my own mother thought it was me. The first incident was back in 2011-2012. I was in my bedroom, and I heard my name being called, so when I responded from upstairs, I heard my mom say, never mind, very nervously. Naturally, I go down the stairs and I ask my mom why she was calling me. She then said, I just saw you standing in the kitchen. I looked at her and said, I've been upstairs the whole night. And she replied with, I saw you go into the kitchen and open the cupboard. That's the devil playing tricks on your mother. Just saying. A friend named Jamie. The layout of our house was kind of odd. There was okay. a hallway that connected to the kitchen, but it had two open, so it created this weird open wall situation. So like, anyway, there was a mirror yeah, hanging yeah. on the wall, and you could see the reflection of the TV in the mirror. So one day, I went to an amusement park, and Jamie looked at the mirror, then circled around the hallway situation, and asked the other person in the house if I was still there. When she replied, no, she left, Jamie said she saw me sitting on the couch from the reflection of the TV. The TV was not on. The last incident was with my cousin. He had spent the night, and we both fell asleep on the couches downstairs in the living room. He had woken up and went upstairs to brush his teeth in the bathroom. It had one of those giant mirrors that covered the entire wall uh -huh. from the counter up. And with the bathroom door open, you could see into my room and my brother's room. He said he was brushing his teeth, and when he looked up at the mirror, he saw me standing from my bedroom watching him brush his teeth and said, Oh, I didn't know you were awake, Cass. He didn't get a response. Once again, I was asleep downstairs in the living room. The next thing I knew, my cousin was shaking me, telling me to wake up and that he had just saw me standing in my bedroom. We lived there for about nine years. My room was always the coldest room in the house, especially the closet in my room. It was freezing in there, and we were told it was a portal. I always heard hangers moving around, and I would feel someone or something sitting at the edge of my bed. In the basement, especially if you were alone, you could hear footsteps. Leave. Leave. I never felt too scared or threatened, but the idea of a ghost looking at me creeped me out. No shit. Selena, see. When I thought I heard a knock at my door, I took out my headphones and listened for another knock. I didn't hear anything, so I put my headphones back in and continued watching the video. Shortly huh? after, my video started buffering at exactly 6 minutes and 66 seconds, and I felt someone tug at my foot, which was hanging off my bed. I quickly got up and looked under my bed and around my room to see if my sister was playing a trick on me. I was alone. 
I ran out of my room and saw a tall, dark figure standing at the end of the hallway. I closed my eyes, and when I opened them again, it was gone. Why do people do this? Why are you closing your eyes when there's something in front of you? That is the one way you get killed. You keep them open, you look right at what it is. It's like an animal, you know? You don't close your eyes and let the animal just eat you. You stare right at it, head first, full thing. I thought I saw something in the reflection. You just look right at it and you don't you don't stop. Cause then it can't get the jump on you. Cause if it disappears, then you're just gonna be more panicked. Don't get it, man. Eleven, we got common E. When I was about nine years old, I had a friend that introduced me to the urban legend of Bloody Mary. We used to play around and dip. Why? Leave these games alone, man. God damn. Each other to summon her in the bathroom one at a time. One night I was feeling daring, so I went to the bathroom and did it. Except I didn't oh. see anything and I went to sleep. I woke up around 4 a.m. and heard footsteps coming up the stairs. At first, I thought it was probably my parents, except I began realizing that the footsteps never seemed to make it to the top. Then I thought, oh, the tooth fairy. Remember, I was nine. I oh. lost my tooth that night, except I looked under my pillow and it was gone. The steps started getting louder, faster, and closer, and sounded as if someone had already gotten to the top of the staircase. But I went to check. Nobody was there. So you're nine and you're checking to see if some why me nine i'm under the quilt i'm going goodbye and you won't see me for the rest of the night probably won't sleep again but you know also you're nine years old and you're doing the bloody mary Ooh, how do you even know about this <laughs> like what and both my parents were asleep i got so scared that i pulled the covers over my head and the steps that's what you should have done to a halt i slowly uncovered my face let out a sigh of relief and went to turn my body towards the wall Nope, 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 nope. Why would you get out of the, under the courts? That's your safe place. That's where you stay. <laughs> when I felt a hand crawl down my forearm and bang it against the wall with full force, I had zero control over my arm, which is what freaked me out. When I woke up, there was a dent in the wall. Man, that was terrifying. Um, okay. I don't know what I'm going to react to next, but this this was really good. If you guys are still here watching this at the end of the video, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and tell me if you enjoyed this. I'm a little bit spooked on edge a bit, you know? making sure nothing's behind me. A lot of those were some good ones. I don't know if I'm gonna cut any of them out. If some of them get get cut out, then it's probably because they weren't that good. Because there was a little bit in there like, meh. There was good ones though. There was a couple good ones, didn't there? If you did enjoy, like, comment, subscribe, and um, I'll see you next Terror Tuesday. Peace out, bye.